What is good everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today I had an idea actually yesterday and I was sitting there thinking, I was like, bro, there was some figures at Comic-Con that we did not see. There were some figures that we did not get and there are some figures that, you know what, it's like, bro, bro, we didn't get that. That's actually crazy. So I figured why not make a whole video talking about the figures that we did not see at San Diego Comic-Con and let's just go ahead and dive right in, guys. Let's start off with the big dog. The big dog, Michael Cole's favorite, Roman Reigns. We did not see a single elite Roman Reigns. I don't even think we saw a basic. Am I wrong about that? If I'm wrong about that, please let me know. But from all the images I saw, from all the breakdown of SDCC that we saw, guys, I did not see a single Roman Reigns elite figure or a basic or anything. Maybe like a little one of those Masters of the Universe. Maybe. I can't remember. But um, for the most part, I don't think we saw an elite Roman Reigns. And I think this is crazy. I think that, uh, that that's absolutely nuts. You know, usually they try to make it where there's a Roman Reigns on the shelves at all times, which I guess they know that they don't really have to make anything new because usually it's just like a tweak of a head scan, a new vest, color, and bam, they pump it out the shelves, which I guess I can understand, but I still thought that we'd see at least a render of a new upcoming vest or maybe, you know, a, a prototype, something. You, you would think that Roman Reigns, being one of the most popular guys, that they would also include him in SDCC. And more notable guys like this, we didn't see any final products of an elite Seth Rollins, elite AJ Styles, elite Braun Strowman. We didn't see any of those guys. Randy Orton's another guy that comes to mind, and I, I wanted to fit all those right here, but I thought Roman Reigns was probably the biggest surprise, and Braun Strowman's probably right there as well, and AJ Styles and Seth Rollins is a big one. I know we got renders of AJ Styles and Seth Rollins, you know, in the, the, the Elite 2-pack with Finn Balor. We saw AJ Styles with the two sweet hands, and then we saw the Royal Rumble 2019 Rollins in there with, uh, with those renders, but we didn't see any brand new figures like, you know, absolutely in physical form. And we didn't see any renders of Roman Reigns or anything, so I thought that was pretty interesting, and I wanted to definitely talk about that. Another thing that we did not get, guys, is a Hollywood Hulk Hogan or any Hulk Hogan figure for that matter. You know, I actually found out some news about Con uh, Comic-Con. I think somebody asked Bill or Mattel uh, over there while they were there at SDCC. I did see this on Twitter somewhere. I can't remember the source, but they talked about how uh, they are still not allowed to make Hulk Hogan just yet. They have not been given uh, the license rights or something like that. They're just that he's not been cleared yet to be made into a figure. So I guess we have to wait a little bit longer. But the, I had to include Hollywood Hogan or Hulk Hogan himself in this video because I know a lot of people are really wanting that figure. I actually am not a real big supporter of Hulk Hogan ever. I never have been even before all of his crazy stuff came out and everything like that. So I have, uh, and, and I'm kind of wanting a Hollywood Hulk Hogan for my collection, so you know it's about time. If I'm if I'm coming around and I'm ready to have one, then you guys know that it's probably long overdue, so I, I know that a lot of people are out there waiting, especially the big Hulk Hogan fans, so I had to include Hulk Hogan in this video as well, and I wanted to uh, plug Hulk Hogan in here because I know a lot of people are waiting on him. Another couple figures, or a few figures that we didn't see, guys. How about the Target exclusive, or we thought it was going to be Target exclusive. How about the uh, the, the ringside exclusive, Andrade? and then the, the Target exclusive Roderick Strong. I know we saw the Undisputed Era Roderick Strong, which I'm very excited about. You guys know, if you guys know me or, or support the channel or know anything about me, you know that NXT, Roderick Strong is probably my favorite talent in all of NXT, so you guys know I'm hyped for this Undisputed Era Roddy, but I really wanted to see the blue one in Final Product. I, I posted on Instagram a while back, I think it was like a month and a half ago or something like that, I posted that, you know, don't, I, I posted pictures of this wave, the Andrade, the Titus O'Neil, and the Roderick Strong. I posted a picture of those on my Instagram, and I said, you know, uh, please don't be canceled. And then people that actually work for Mattel actually commented underneath the video, or underneath the post, and said, you know, this is simply just a rumor. These these are not, or this is not true. This is simply not true, or something like that. And he said that uh, this, this wave is supposedly still coming. So hopefully we are getting that Roderick Strong. I know the Andrade is actually up for pre-order on Ringside Collectibles. If I'm not mistaken, you guys can go pre-order the Andrade figure right now. But we did not see it at Comic-Con. We didn't see the Roderick Strong. We didn't see the Titus O'Neil. We did see this uh, this rendered image. We saw the prototype of the rendered Undisputed Era Roderick Strong, but we did not see Andrade or Roderick Strong's older elite. So I thought that was pretty interesting. If they were going to be coming out, wouldn't they have shown them off at SDCC? I don't know. Maybe they're too old. I'm not sure. But I definitely wanted 
wanted to include that here, that they were not shown off, and I thought that was an interesting point that they were not shown at SDCC this year. But anyways, guys, let's move on right here. We have War Raiders, Viking Raiders, Viking Experience, War Machine, Viking Machine, Machine Vikings, whatever you want to call these guys. We did not see these. I know these were on a lot of people's list. People really wanted to see them in a, you know, even a render, I think, was, was what people really expected. You know, they probably didn't expect to see, you know, any hard copy or a prototype of these guys, but the War Raiders are definitely a lot of people's uh, wants. They're, you know, the, the top figures on a lot of people's list, and these customs right here were made by Elite Custom Figs. I wanted to plug him because these are absolutely amazing. I love these figures. They look really, really good, and so I wanted to plug him in here with uh, with these custom figures here. They look fantastic, and I think that I am also on that bandwagon. I really want to see the, uh, the Viking Raiders made here for our Elite Figure Collections in our tag team divisions, whatever you want to say. I think that these would be fantastic figures. I think that the you know the body molds and the beards and the tattoo detail and all the stuff they could include with them would be absolutely beautiful. To be honest with you, I mean they should have never been called up. They should have stayed in NXT. Uh, you know, sat there a little bit longer, got some more tag team wrestling in there, and you know for us to enjoy. And I think that these were definitely on a lot of people's list that that people wanted, and I'm one of those people as well. I think that uh, that, that we wanted to see these guys, and we didn't see them. They were they were not there, so I definitely had to include the 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 war experience here in. My my video so I wanted to include those guys the next guy I want to talk about guys is my man Leo Rush you guys know Leo Rush he used to be my favorite independent talent before coming to WWE he was on WWE television you know with Bobby Lashley as his manager as his you know his sidekick right there and apparently he got into a lot of backstage heat with a lot of people apparently he was you know trashing on veterans of the business and you know sort of having a bad attitude about things and not being totally compliant to what WWE wanted to book him like and, and you know treat him and whatever and so uh i i, I figure that his release is is probably imminent because he had high tensions backstage and then you know he he got taken off tv he got beat by bobby i think or braun Strowman, i can't remember and then he hasn't been seen since and they haven't even spoken of him or talked about him so i think they're literally going to just bury this man and when his contract's up he's going to leave i know that he removed like wwe from his bio on instagram he hasn't really talked about him at all and so i think that leo rush is probably going to be leaving wwe very very soon and i think that it would probably be best for him and you know i i, I thought that his his mic work was pretty good but they never let him go in the ring besides on 205 live a few times and I think that he fits just the independent style better I'm, I'm not sure but we didn't see his figure, so I think that this is another sign. I think that if he was still in good spirits with WWE and that if he was still, you know, on their positive side, I think we would have seen a figure of him. But we did not see a figure of my man Leo Rush, and I'm pretty disappointed about that, that we'll never get a Mattel product because uh, it's really hard to make a custom of him. As good as these customs are here and as good as my custom is on my shelf that's two and a half years old or three years old now, um, it's really hard to replicate this man in figure form. So I thought that Mattel would be the best ones to make it, and it doesn't look like we're we're going to be getting one since uh, their fallout with WWE, and, you know, I, I just don't see them making them, guys. Since he's in, you know, hot water and all that stuff, I don't see us ever getting a Leo Rush, which is pretty sad, but, you know, I guess we have to move on with it. Um, the next guy's up is the Street Profits. I thought that we would see some renders of the Street Profits, at least a battle pack or something. We did not see any of these guys. We saw Matt Riddle. We saw Lars Sullivan. We saw, you know, uh, Keith Lee. We saw a bunch of people, and we did not see the Street Profits. I really wanted to see the Street Profits, the current NXT Tag Team Champions. Really good, really entertaining guys. Montez Ford is one of my favorites in the world right now. Is what he does. His character work right now on Monday Night Raw. He's probably the best thing going about Monday Night Raw, to be honest with you. He was probably the best part of that reunion show outside Stone Cold Steve Austin last night. And so I, I really wanted to see these guys at SDCC, and we did not get them. So I thought that was pretty interesting. I couldn't even find custom elites of these guys. So I, I really don't even know where to start to make these. I had an idea for a head scan for Montez Ford, but I wanted to make the Street Profits in a whole if I was going to make them. So uh, the Street Profits are definitely on my radar as some guys that I want to plug into uh, the Pick Fed division if I could get them. But, uh, you know, I'm struggling right now to make figures, and I wanted to definitely include them in this video. But I thought we'd get some renders of them. That did not happen. So hopefully soon we will get some uh, Street Profits. I'm sure they got scanned for figures. They're just not, you know, in production just yet. But I had to include them in this video video and I think we're down to the last two figures or maybe the last figure here guys and it is a updated Elite R-Truth yes an updated Elite R-Truth I know we got a basic 
but it's not the same. It's it's not the same. You guys can say it's the same, but it's really not, in my opinion. I think that, you know, we really do need an Elite R-Truth. It's been a long, long time since we got an Elite R-Truth. I really do love this R-Truth head scan. I think it's a fantastic head scan, but the body mold, you could use an older R-Truth, which is fine, but the, the problem comes in in the lower legs. You know, we don't have a, uh, a darker skin tone for this kind of mold. We have a John Cena, which I guess you could just paint the legs, but it's really hard to get that, that leg, uh, you know, that skin tone, matching skin tone is pretty difficult on a custom so I don't know I may attempt it just because I love our truth I think that uh, we're overdue for an our truth so I may do it one day once this basic releases and I get some you know some figure parts laying around you could probably just switch out the lower legs for a defining moments John Cena paint the the calves up and it would be probably pretty easy to do but until that day happens and we get the we get this basic and we get the parts in and all that stuff then uh, it remains to be seen but I really do want an our truth and I think a R truth elite with maybe you know the 24 7 championship is probably something they're working on i know we got a render of an of a 24 7 championship in um, elite figure form so i'm sure at the next con or whatever they they will be releasing it very soon i'm, I'm sure it's in production since we got that 24 7 prototype and i'm sure they're just going to take this basic and convert it into an elite maybe throw a t-shirt or a hoodie with it and that'll be it, and that will be fine with me. But I think that about does it for all the main notables. Again, like I said, we didn't see any AJ Styles Elite Final Products. We didn't see any Seth Rollins Final Product Elites, Randy Orton, Roman Reigns. And so... Uh I was really expecting, you know, a John Moxley Elite. Oh, that's a joke. I know, I know that we're not getting a John Moxley. I just wanted to throw that in there. But I think that about does it for all the figures I was expecting that we did not see, guys. I really wanted to see a lot of these, and we didn't get them. And I would love to know down in the comment section below, is there any figures that you guys wanted to see at SDCC that we did not get? I would love to know down in the comment section below. But I think that is about it for my list here today. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE figure videos. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys, and I will see you guys in the next video, thank you.